Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Matt and I are going to a new destination. We are driving about an hour and a half. Matt and I are going to a new destination. And what I wanted to do is show you guys what a forest service road looks like. So right now we're on a main road and here in about three miles, um, we're going to be entering a forest service road and 15 miles of forest service road until our next destination, which we found an eye overlander. So this is the main road. This is the main road here in Idaho. We're traveling southeast, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. But this is the main road here, and we're going to uh, turn this camera back on once we get onto that Forest Service Road to give you guys an idea what it's like to go camping or boondocking, van lifing, anything, using a Forest Service Road. See you in a second. <laughs> We got the dogs who are very excited to go on another adventure here on the Nomok experience. Right, doggies? Right, Barrett? Yeah, they don't pay attention. So this is a forest service road here. So since there's 15 more miles to go, I'm going to turn this camera back on. Once the terrain starts to change a little bit, a little rougher roads, and we take a turn because we're gonna be climbing up this mountain. This is gonna be the peak of the peak of this mountain, I do believe. All right, stick around because we're gonna turn the camera back on just very shortly. All right, as you can see, the terrain actually, as I can see, but I'll show you guys here in a second. The terrain, the terrain is pretty much similar, but the road is much more narrow and we're getting into a lot more trees. Take a look. As you can see, the road is a little bit more narrow. There's a lot more potholes, more stones on the road. And once again, this is a lot smoother road than most of the National Forest Service roads or fire service roads, whatever they're called, um, that I've been on. So we're lucky so far, but we still have 10 more miles to go. Uh oh, we got dogs out here, which means this girl's going to go crazy, and so is Barrett. The dog was actually underneath that guy's truck hiding from the cars, which uh, made Bella and Barrett not see that dog. But uh, here we go. A little going, we're going to... Uh, Words are hard. Here we go, we're going further up this mountain. As you can see, it's just windy roads all the way up. If I zoom out of the map, you can see. In 1,000 feet, slight left. Perfect timing. You can see the terrain that we got to go through. All right, guys, we'll turn this camera back on when we get closer to camp. All right, here's a cool view of the side of the mountain that we're actually climbing up. It kind of gives it a little bit of perspective. If you could see to the right, those mountains over, well, there are trees in my way now, but right up there, you could see that we're climbing 
basically all the way up there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how well that's going to come out. Uh, being able to see how far still we have left to climb. We are climbing eight more miles up. So at basically nine miles. It's 8.8. .8. Not, and this is straight up. I'm getting six to eight miles to the gallon, climbing this road all the way up. On the way down. I get 99.9. .9. Well, that's as far as my meter reads when it comes to miles per gallon. But on the way down, I'm just sitting in third gear or second gear, and we're just coasting all the way down, tapping the brakes every once in a while. But um, all right, once again, something interesting comes up, we'll turn the camera back on. All right, here's a better view of the mountain that uh, we're climbing up right now. I had to turn the camera back on to show you guys a little better view because that last one I don't think was very good, but this is a very steep, probably a good 10% gradient. Take a look. I don't think the camera does it justice of how steep this is, but 10% is pretty good. Um, and I would say that we're gonna be at 4,000 feet when we get up to the top here. I will, uh, Matt's got this app that shows him the elevation of where we're at. So I'll have Matt check out the elevation of where he's, where we're at once we get back up there. Once again, we'll turn the camera back on when something interesting happens. All right, something interesting happened. We are at a very beautiful spot to show you guys the mountains that we're climbing up right now. This is a very good rendition. <laughs> if that's even the right word to use right now, I have no idea. But this is a very good look at what it looks like to climb on a forest service road and where we're going is a spot just like that right there. Dogs definitely love it. Seeing views like that out there, if you guys can see that, just is a reminder for me how lucky I am to live in a van not have to go to a job every day to be able to take you guys along on these trips and show you, but just to have a very low stress-free life to see things that are like that outside the window. Once again, we'll turn the camera back on soon. All right, now the roads have turned into dirt and this is common for a forest service road. So I apologize for the shaky camera, but um, this is the lighter side of the dirt that we've seen uh, that where, where I just passed through, I didn't get the camera out because it was just too rough of terrain for me to have the camera in my hand and drive. But as you can see, it's uh, it's clearing up. There's a lot of ruts in the ground from the rainfall and the snow melting from people driving up here. But uh, it's clearing up pretty good. It's just a gorgeous view. Gosh, if you guys ever get a chance to take a vehicle and drive up these Forest Service roads in northern Idaho, I highly suggest it. Looks like we're going to have a really good view here in... 13 seconds, I don't know, maybe 14 seconds. Oh yeah, yeah, we got a really good view. Look at that. Wow. What a steep climb. I am in second gear right now. I'm manually shifting this vehicle, climbing this mountain to give my transmission a little break. This van has a sport shifter mode, which means it's like the flappy paddles you see on sports cars, but not nearly as good of a clutch. And it's giving me the ability to, there's a car coming. It gives me the ability to choose what gear I want to be in. And that just kind of helps out the old transmission. This is going to be sketchy trying to get through this guy and not hit him at all. It looks like we're going to be good. Talk about barely making it, huh? No kidding. No kidding. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber, so I'm YouTubing this. Excellent. That's a good round. Guys, have fun. Come on, dogs. <laughs> Guy, that just goes to show you anybody comes up here. We got a, a father and his daughter up in here with an $80,000 Lexus SUV with a roof rack system on it in storage. Looks like he took his daughter camping up here. And uh, he said, enjoy it. It's a perfect drive, he said. All right, now I'm gonna wait till we get to the camp spot in 0.8 miles and turn the camera back on then. See you soon. Well, I don't think we're gonna make the destination to 
where I overlander said to go because this road is covered in snow. There's absolutely no way that we're going to be able to drive on this road because that's that's three feet or more of snow embankment on the right hand side. So we did see a camping spot down the road a couple miles on the right hand side. I think that's where we're going to call home for tonight because I got to set up for a live stream. But uh, I'm going to turn this camera around for you guys and show you how high we are up here. This is very high up. Matt, I think our travels are done. What do you think? We're only about 300 hey. yards from the top. Though. Yeah, right up there I think is. We can make it. <laughs> I mean, how bad can it be? It's only a thousand feet drop here. This is the difference between me and Matt. Is I'm not an idiot. <laughs> So what do you think, Matt? You want to go back down to that spot that was on the right-hand side where we saw those that four-wheeler and that motocross bike? We're going to figure it out and bring you guys into the destination right after we're done. All right, this is going to be base camp for tonight. Maddie should be coming around that corner right there any minute now. Hey, there he is. Yep, that's Maddie Van Halen. All right, so yeah, this is, I'm gonna let the dogs out here in a second, but I wanted to film this spot for you guys before I uh, let the dogs out because it's pandemonium when they get out, but uh, take a look. That's where we came in at. I'm pretty level right there. The dogs really want out. This is the huge area. Looks like four-wheelers like to come up here and have a lot of fun. But let's take a look at our overlook here. Not a bad view. Man, that's pretty trees. One of my favorite things about traveling is seeing gorgeous trees, the difference in trees throughout America, the vast difference of all kinds of trees. It's one of my favorite things. All right, I gotta turn this camera off right now. I'm gonna show you guys the rest of camp here shortly because I need to set up for a live stream. I gotta get a thumbnail up in 20 minutes. So I gotta set up Starlink, let the dogs out, and get ready for a live stream. All right, we'll check back in with you here in a, in a few, for, or in a second for you. So this is what forest roads bring you into is places like this. This is our camp spot back there. This is the way we came. I think it was 10 miles. I can't remember from the beginning. And this is where the Forest Service Road goes up until where we stopped because there was too much snow on the ground. Gotta get my dogs back. Come on, Bella. Come on, Barrett. Let's go. So this is our camp spot for today, right up here. Matt has his van and his clamshell already put together and I have my van there. And this is where we're gonna sleep, I don't know, for the next four days, week, we have no idea. Come on, Bella. Come on, let's go. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take you on top of this little peak over here and give you a, uh, a view of the surrounding area. Here comes the happy dog. His sister, she just kind of does her own thing. Come on, Barrett. Let's go, Barrett. Come on. Here she comes, she's on a trot now. And then she sees the cameras on her face and she slows down. Come on, Bella. Come on, baby girl. All right, let's go up here and show you what we see. So you notice right down here, we could also park our vans and camp down here, but if we did that, then nobody would see us pulling in and there may be a party of four-wheelers or RVs 
and they might come into this spot and uh, cause us a whole bunch of noise trouble for our peaceful camping. All right, guys, we're going to end today's video with me flipping this camera around and showing you what we're seeing right now. Tea.